So when it comes to metal decking for concrete, there's really two different systems. There's composite floor decking, and there's form decking. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the differences between the two, but mainly we're gonna cover composite floor decking and the different types of composite floor decking. I'm Paul Rubio and welcome to the Metal Deck Learning Channel. If you have a job that has metal decking and you need it quickly, metaldeck.com has you covered. We have a large inventory of roof and floor deck in multiple sizes and gauges. With facilities located in Southern California, Phoenix, Arizona, and Texas, you can get same day or next day delivery or pickup. Decking today, no delay at metaldeck.com. So the first question is, what is metal decking for concrete? And all that is, is a corrugated metal that's going to sit on top of either steel joist or steel I-beams, and then you'll have concrete that's poured on top of the metal panels. And then that will either become a composite floor deck system or it will be a form decking. So let's talk about a composite floor deck system. And a composite floor deck system is, it's a metal decking that has, you'll see here we've got a piece of inch and a half floor deck. And a composite floor deck system will have embossments in the, uh, in the sides of the flutes. And the purpose of these embossments is it allows the concrete and the metal decking panel to bond together and become a composite system. And the main advantage of a composite system is that it increases the strength of the floor without adding any additional weight. So right here what we have is we have a piece of inch and a half B floor deck for concrete and a piece of inch and a half B roof deck. And you'll see the main differences. The panels are identical in symmetry, but the difference is these embossments. These embossments are what the concrete will bond to. And with the roof deck, you see it's smooth. There are no embossments. So if you end up with a piece of smooth metal decking, you'll know that's a roof deck that's not intended for structural concrete. And vice versa, if you have embossments, you know that that's intended to have structural concrete poured on it. So steel form deck and composite floor deck are both used to support wet concrete, and they're similar in many ways, but there's one distinctive difference. Steel form decking doesn't become bonded to the concrete. It's only a form that will support the weight of the concrete, and it will not increase the strength of the floor. And again, you can see this because this panel here is embossments, and this steel form deck does not. So in this video, we're mainly going to talk about composite floor decking, but if you need to learn more about form decking, check the description and we have a video that covers this in depth and you can find the link in the description. There are three types of composite floor decking and they're determined by the depth of the panel. So it'll be inch and a half, two inch or three inch composite floor deck. Now the trade names may vary depending upon your region, but it will almost always be those three sizes. So the combination of the depth of the panel and the gauge of the panel will determine the panel strength and engineering values. A deeper panel will be stronger than a shallower panel. So for example, a three inch floor deck will be significantly stronger than an inch and a half floor deck. So in front of me here, I have an inch and a half composite floor deck. Uh, this would be known as a B floor deck system. Uh, we distribute Verco metal decking and it's known as B form lock. It will be the shallowest profile and it will be capable of the shortest spans. Okay, so this is a two inch floor deck. Um, we distribute Verco decking, so we call this a W2 form lock. You'll notice the difference between this and a B deck is this, is, this has less highs. These highs are spaced 12 inches center to center. And this is what they call a mid-span uh, composite floor deck. So it's, it's stronger than an inch and a half B deck, but not as strong as a three inch floor deck. This is a three inch floor deck. Uh, Verco calls this a W3 form lock. And you'll see it looks the same as the two inch version. The only difference is it's an inch higher. And that matters because you can pour a thicker concrete slab, and most importantly, you can span the material further. This would be considered a long span floor decking. The three floor decks we just covered will account for about 99% of the composite floor deck systems. However, there's another system that's worth briefly discussing that's called a deep deck. Now, deep deck generally comes in three sizes, 
four and a half inch, six inch, or seven and a half inch. And the only time you would use a deep deck system is when you needed to span even further than a composite three inch system would allow. If you end up needing a deep deck system, just keep in mind that it's very expensive and they're typically very long lead times. Composite floor decking is available in four different gauges, 22, 20, 18, and 16. Now remember, with gauges, the lower the number, the stronger the material. Finishes. G60 is the most common type of galvanized floor decking. It's used on more than 95% of floor decking jobs that are specified as galvanized. It's easy to find and it's available immediately. Galvanized G90, and what this means is that it has about 50% more galvanized than a G60. G90 is rarely specified on a job, and you would really only consider G90 if the job was near a corrosive environment, such as the ocean or something along those lines. G90 galvanized is difficult to find and will require a job that has a long lead time and enough quantity for the mill to take the order. The third finish is phosphatized and prime painted. And what this means is the top of the metal decking where the concrete is poured on is not galvanized. It's bare steel with the phosphatized coating. The underside of the panel is prime painted. So how do I know which type of metal decking to use? Well, metal decking isn't something that you decide on yourself. There'll be an engineer and he'll determine the type of panel and the gauge that, that should be used. And this will be in a section of the plans called Metal Decking Specifications. Metal Decking Concrete Slab. So with a composite floor decking system, you're required to pour concrete that's a minimum of two inches beyond the metal deck. So for example, if you had an inch and a half B deck, you'd have to have a minimum three and a half inch slab. And generally you see concrete slabs that are as low as a three and a half inch slab all the way up to about a seven and a half inch slab. There are two types of concrete that's used on a composite floor deck system, normal weight and lightweight concrete. Structural normal weight concrete will actually add strength to your structure, and that's normally concrete that's 145 to 155 pounds per cubic foot. Lightweight concrete is typically 110 pounds per cubic foot. The engineer will determine which type of concrete to use for your project. Sheet lengths and lead times. So jobs that are under 10,000 square feet will typically be available for same day or next day pickup. When you have a job that's over 10,000 square feet, you have two options. Uh, you can get it immediately, or we can custom make it to your sizes. The only disadvantage of custom making it is it's typically a two to four week lead time. Prior to placing an order for metal decking, you must know the specifications of your project, including the following type of metal deck, cage, finish, sheet lengths, number of panels needed. Once you have all the information about your project, just give us a call or send us an email and we're happy to send you a free quote.